The satellite image was captured just three hours ago. Typhoon Fong Wang's eye wall. A near-perfect spiral of destruction, churning toward Taiwan's east coast. Sustained winds sit around 95 kilometers per hour. But that's not what is meteorologists losing sleep. The fear is inside the storm. Across the Philippines, 18 people are confirmed dead and 1.4 million are displaced. Yet the deeper terror isn't the damage left behind. It's what scientists found in the storm's structure. 48 hours ago, while Fong Wang intensified over the South China Sea, models showed something unprecedented, something that could change how typhoons are forecast. Taiwan has less than a day before possible landfall. The storm is tracking north at 15 kilometers per hour, carrying a phenomenon in its core that may rewrite the textbooks. Northern Luzon looks like a war zone. Twisted metal, submerged villages, districts cut off. 18 deaths, with fears the toll will rise. Agriculture losses already exceed 142 million pesos. Rice fields were wiped out weeks before harvest. Nearly 3 million households lack power. Full restoration will take weeks. Recovery is slow and dangerous. Landslides block highways. The Cagayan River keeps neighborhoods underwater, and veteran responders say conditions are unlike anything they've seen. While crews fought through the wreckage, meteorologists found something worse. Dr. Elena Santos flagged a marine anomaly. Subsurface temperatures 2 to 3 degrees Celsius above average, not just at the surface, but down 100 to 150 meters. Ocean heat content readings revealed a vast thermal battery, fuel for rapid intensification. Then the storm broke the rules. Fong Wong surged, paused, and surged again in rapid intensification cycles that didn't match known patterns. Models said Luzon's mountains would shred the core. Instead, the structure held together and crossed with minimal loss of organization. Eyewall replacement cycles arrived every six to eight hours, much faster than the usual 12 to 24. Instead of weakening during each cycle, the storm tightened and strengthened. Satellite imagery showed concentric eyewalls persisting at a latitude where they rarely do. Nested bands of intense convection feeding energy inward like Russian dolls. The Kuroshio current acted as a moving refueling line, sliding warm water beneath the track. Aloft, jet stream divergence formed a chimney that vented heat efficiently, sustaining towering convection. Microwave sensors then revealed the most unsettling feature, a moisture tap stretching from the Indian Ocean forming an atmospheric river thousands of kilometers long. A regional cyclone had become a continental scale engine. The feedback loop was self-sustaining. Warm water strengthened the storm. The storm mixed up more warm water, preserving the heat source. Each component amplified the next. As Fong Wong pulled away from the Philippines, one conclusion was hard to avoid. This wasn't just another seasonal storm. It looked like the prototype of a new class of typhoon. Taiwan was next, and the storm was not weakening. At dawn, Taipei issued first alerts. Fong Wang sits approximately 300 kilometers southeast of Taiwan, drifting north at 15 kilometers per hour. Winds near 95 kilometers per hour look modest, but the internal architecture is alarming. Warnings cover Taitung Hualien. Landfall is likely in 18 to 24 hours, with impacts well beyond the initial coastline. Storm surge models show four to six meter waves along the east coast, higher in exposed bays. Taiwan's topography will amplify rainfall as air is forced over the central mountain range. Guidance shows 200 to 400 millimeters in 24 hours on already saturated slopes, priming debris flows and landslides. The projected track echoes Morakot, 2009, Taiwan's deadliest modern typhoon. Yet Fong Wang carries more moisture, with vapor transport approximating 15 times the Mississippi River. Despite notable wind shear, the system is holding together, even showing multiple eye walls, 
that complicate precise landfall timing. Outer bands already bring 60 to 70 kilometers per hour gusts to the east coast. The Kuroshio continues to feed warm water. There's no natural break before impact. At 15 kilometers per hour, the storm will move slowly enough to unload extreme rain, then shove moisture and wind onto the western plains. 23 million people are in its path. Why is this happening? The South China Sea has become a three-dimensional heat engine. Sea surface temperatures run approximately 2 degrees Celsius above average, with anomalies of plus 3 degrees Celsius at 50 meters and plus 2.5 degrees Celsius at 100 meters, a months-long thermal reservoir. Riding the Kuroshio, Fong Wang taps a conveyor belt of fuel for explosive strengthening. Aloft, strong upper-level divergence creates a ventilation chimney, sustaining 16 to 18 kilometer convective towers. Long-range moisture connections funnel water vapor from the Indian Ocean across Southeast Asia into the core. Feedbacks tighten, warmer sea, stronger convection, more upwelling of warm water, further intensification. Concentric eyewalls share the workload. If one weakens, another takes over the engine. Surface mixing now maintains the storm's warm water source. With the Kuroshio and favorable upper patterns intact, Fong Wong approaches Taiwan as a storm that operates by rules we're only beginning to grasp. This isn't an outlier, it's a preview. Western Pacific seas have warmed approximately 1.2 degrees Celsius since 2010, massively boosting ocean heat storage. Each additional degree allows the atmosphere to hold approximately 7% more moisture, supercharging rainfall. The mixed layer has deepened from approximately 50 meters to 100 plus meters, creating super fuel so storms don't churn up cooling water and can intensify for longer. Jet stream protection is weakening as polar tropical contrasts shrink, producing blocking highs that stall systems. Slower storms are deadlier. Harvey showed it in Houston. Fong Wong's 15 km per hour forward speed threatens multi-day deluges over steep terrain. Precipitation rates now rise 10 to 15% per degree Celsius. With an Indian Ocean-fed atmospheric river, storms can tap continental-scale vapor pipelines. Infrastructure designed for the past is failing. 100-year drains now face 500-year totals. Agriculture takes repeated hits like the 142 million peso loss in the Philippines. Models point to 30 to 40% more storms like Fong Wong by 2050. Urban heat islands, Taipei's included, boost local convection and flash flooding. Feedbacks accelerate, warmer seas, stronger storms, more latent heat, warmer seas. The rules are being rewritten. It's not just more storms, it's different storms new behaviors, new tracks, new risks. Taiwan has activated full emergency posture. Evacuations run from Taitung to Hualien. 50,000 plus residents in flood zones should move now. Taipei faces plume-driven flooding over the central range with undersized drainage. Kaohsiung risks storm surge, inundation of industrial zones, and secondary chemical hazards. Mountain communities face the gravest danger, orographic torrents, debris flows, and landslides. Preparedness remains simple but urgent. Seven days of water and food, radios, lights, first aid, cash, meds, waterproof documents, backup batteries. Review multiple evacuation routes, don't wait. Operations halt once winds exceed approximately 60 kilometers per hour. Establish an out-of-area contact as communications may fail. Beyond the next 48 hours, the lesson is clear. Redesign flood control for current rainfall realities, plus 30 to 40% capacity. Overhaul forecasting to include ocean heat content, atmospheric rivers, and multi-eyewall dynamics. Deepen regional cooperation for monitoring and evacuation, and harden power, communications, and supply chains. Use the data Fong Wong is giving, then build for the climate we have, not the one we remember. 
Fong Wong represents a new category of storm that challenges what we thought we knew about typhoon behavior. This isn't just another seasonal event, it's a preview of our climate future. Taiwan faces the next 36 hours with better science than ever and risks greater than any model was built to handle. Stay prepared, stay informed. Understanding these systems is the best defense we have.